Hey guys, so let's learn about Glasgow Comma Scale today. So basically this is the chart of Glasgow Comma Scale. But uh, what medicals really find hard is to remember all these scores with respect to the characteristics. So let's dive into it. I have a mnemonic which might help you. So let's go through it. So first of all, in a human body, from top to bottom, what comes first? Eyes. Then mouth for verbal communication and then the limbs for motor function all right remember like this so the scoring will be in increasing order four five six so the scores i have written are the maximum scores okay so let's start with i first i so, uh, so I'll tell you a story, or you can imagine yourself in the uh, in the story. So, whenever we date someone, all right, we date someone. So we will begin with a dating app, okay? We will swipe right and left in a dating app, okay? So, af why do we swipe? After we look at the picture and we like the picture, okay? Using our eyes, we will like the picture of a girl or a boy. We will swipe. So for I remember swiping okay there's no dating session going on here it's just a mnemonic so swipe in how do we write swipe in s v p n this will be spontaneous verbal pain nil so uh, I basically this is I movement so the patient will respond first of all if the patient is completely fine uh, in this characteristic particularly I so the patient will move his eye here and there spontaneously okay so he will look around his environment so obviously this will get the maximum score for then verbal communication the patient is not opening his eyes but you call him like sir you call his name then only he opens his eyes or responds then he will get a score of three then pain pain or stimulus if you'll shake the patient or give him pain okay some some kind of stimulus then only he he opens his eyes then the score will be two and nil so no score remember in glasgow comma scale there is no zero scores the minimum score is one all right now verbal communication so now you have swiped the girl or the boy right now you later you started chit chatting on whatsapp or tinder itself uh, whatever but now it's time for verbal communication to talk on the cell phone all right now th basically that's the next step usually right so for verbal communication you you can't uh, just talk right away right so you wait for the right moment when each one of you gets or both of you gets comfortable with each other then only you will start uh, talking on the cell phone so you wait for the right day you wait for the right moment or you can say you wait for the right wait uh, you wait for the right occasion all right so how do we write it here let's put occasion here o c a s s n okay so one two three four five five abbreviations here the maximum score for verbal is five so o will be oriented so the patient uh, will be okay i'll just explain it later i'll just write it down first oriented confused remember it as appropriate but actually it is inappropriate okay s is sounds nil so now uh, the patient uh, you talk to the patient hey mr what's your name and he responds correctly okay so that is or th that is his verbal communication is oriented okay then the score will be maximum score that is five then you will ask him something and he will respond with uh, another thing or you know the patient you it seems the patient is confused is not replying correctly okay then the score will be four confused then 
inappropriately okay i have written a capital so that uh, you can remember a so appropriate inappropriate what inappropriate means the the patient will start shouting in the hospital okay that that, that mania characteristic will be out of his control obviously because of the neuronal uh, dysfunction so patient will start abusing cussing you okay and shouting in the emergency hall so the score will be 3 then as sound sounds what sounds is uh, sounds means the patient won't say the words but the patient will uh, produce some sounds like mm, uh, mumbles the he, he will mumble something okay though that's what sound mean here so two and obviously he will be mute so one verbal now mode now you have talked to the girl and it went well the call went well you like each other on the cell phone now what what will be the next step dating obviously you will go to meet her or meet him okay so to meet them you have to move that's why it comes in motor motor function meeting but when you go to meet them you are obviously nervous very much nervous and what will you tell Uh, to yourself what will you <laughs> what will you keep repeating in your mind everything is going to be fine all will be fine all will be fine even your friends will say all will be fine chill don't worry all will be fine so all will be fine <laughs> all right so how do we remember here how do we put it in abbreviations o l all will be fine just disregard this b since it's a verb okay so we don't need to write it down here all all will be fine okay so six of them so the maximum score will be for o what o is obeys i'll just write it down here all of them at once first localize it draws flexion tension and nil now what happens is now for the motor uh, motor function to check the motor function of the patient you will ask the patient to move his arm okay okay move his leg or touch your nose something like that okay if he obeys your uh, commands correctly okay then he will get the score of 6 now he is not responding to your verbal commands all right obviously uh, if there is uh, like major neuronal damage he is not able to speak then what will happen you will give a stimulus or pain at a particular site in the body and you will you will see the patient is touching that site like in pain like every time you feel pain you keep your hand on that okay something like that so he will localize the site of pain so the score will be 5 now now what happens is in withdrawal he is not able to localize the pain but he withdraws his arm okay he is not able to correctly localize where the pain is but he withdraws his arm if you are uh, giving stimulus in his arm or hand okay that will be 4 now patient is not able to withdraw the arm in this example uh, we are giving the pain stimulus in the arm okay so in flexion what happens is he is not able to withdraw his arm neither he is able to localize what patient will do he will flex his arm okay close to his chest or something like that okay so he will flex that will be 3 just like a normal response how do we safeguard ourselves by like flexing our arms together close to our chest something like that now extension for extension the patient is not able to flex but he will extend which is not a good sign okay so the so patient will extend his arm completely okay straight so that gets a score of 2 and then no response to pain or whatsoever so he will risk, uh, he will get a score of 1 so this is the chart guys so how do we apply this chart uh, we have a uh, like in head injury here so now for example a patient comes to the er okay after a trauma or injury or car accident 
now how do we use this score or how do we put this score in the final calculation so for example if patient is opening his eye with respond to the verbal command only okay and the patient uh, patient's verbal communication is also confused he's not able to speak and the patient uh, is uh, localizing the pain okay or you can say let me change or okay the patient is withdrawing his arm okay after the pain so how do we calculate it now verbal 3 confused 4 and withdrawal 4 3 plus 4 plus 4 that will be 4 plus 4 8 plus 3 11 the patient has a GCS score of GCS 11 okay that's how you will tell your senior consultant or something uh, where uh, at the respective place the patient has a GCS 11 okay so now what uh, generally how do we categorize this total scoring is in cases of head injury a score between 13 and 15 is considered as mild injury between 9 to 12 is considered as moderate injury and less than or equal to 8 is considered as severe injury okay and those who get a score so the minimum score possible will be 3 obviously right so the score between 3 and 8 is considered as comatosed state or if the patient is in coma okay so that's how the uh, sorry that's how the scoring is done and that's how this chart is used so to remember it's a score for uh, brain or brain injury or a coma you can from the name is it already says like Glasgow comma scale okay and this is the actual chart I have just made a representation here and you can use this okay so thank you very much guys I'll be posting videos uh, more often now and please post down your comments or suggestions or uh, if you want to learn something else I'll try if possible I'll post the video quite soon okay take care guys bye